Good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. So today, I'll be showing to you our product output, which is a blog, a blog of basic skills of soccer. So this is a requirement for Ed 305 by Dr. Craig Refugio. So with me is um, Ramos Gomez, and I am Anisita Tubog Jr. We are BPED, BPED students, third year. So in this section, you will see the first basic skill, which is running. So running takes skills, practice to be highly efficient at. Efficiency means decrease injuries, less wear and tear, and ultimately better performance. Running needs to be treated as more of a skill. And like any skill, it requires consistent, conscious practice and repetition to master. Next would be the sprinting. Sprinting is running over a short distance at the topmost speed of the body in a limited period of time. It is used in many sports that incorporate running, typically as a way of quickly reaching a target or goal or avoiding or catching an opponent. Next is jumping. A vertical jump is when a person jumps straight up into the air to catch or punt the ball. A goalkeeper performs a vertical jump when the ball is heading towards the goals and the goalkeeper needs to tape it away. It may also be performed by a soccer player when they are headbutting it. Ball passing. Passing the ball is the key part of associating football. The purpose of passing is to keep possession of the ball by maneuvering it into the ground between different players with the objective of advancing it up the playing field. First basic pass would be the short pass. A short pass is when a person passes the ball a short distance to another player. Next is the long pass. The aim of the long pass is to switch players or find a teammate in space. A long pass is generally more attacking than a short pass, but this can depend on where the player is located on the field. Behind pass. On numerous occasions during match, a player dribbling the ball will find it advantageous to pass the ball to a teammate who is behind or trailing him as he moves upfield toward the opponent goal. This is known as the back pass, and it is practical from two important perspectives. Next is the types of kicks. First is the push kick, as shown in the picture, and then the two kick, and then the outside kick. Juggle or juggling. Juggling is an essential training element which we often overlook. Juggling allows the players to use all parts of their body to gain a, to gain a feel for the ball. This touches build confidence and make players aware of the parts of their body used to control or pass the ball. Next is dribbling. So dribbling is how soccer players transition the ball from one end of the field to another, wave in and out of the defense, and have a chance at scoring a goal. Next is the soccer dribbling. Oh. <coughs> soccer dribbling requires players to have a great footwork control over the ball at all times. The ability to quickly change direction. Ball stopping or ball control. Stopping or killing the ball is the art of receiving it and keeping it captured under your control. Obviously, you don't always receive the ball at the same height or at the same speed. It can arrive high, medium high, low, rolling, bounce, or bouncing, quickly or slowly. You should be able to control it immediately and not let it get away from you. Next would be the ball shooting. As shown in the picture, I and Ramos are kicking the ball towards a goal. Shooting is one of the essential skill or essential soccer skill in soccer. You have to shoot to score goals and you need to score goals to win the games. 
it is important to strike the ball accurately to help improve your chances of scoring the goal. Throw in. The throw in soccer is a method of restarting play once the ball has gone out. It may be one of the less glamorous skills in soccer, but it is nonetheless important to master. An effective throw in can prove the springboard of a successful attacking move and is an important aspect in maintaining possession. Next is the goalkeeping. Improving as a goalkeeper involves working on reflexes, agility, leg speed, decision making, and hand eye coordination. Next is the heading. Heading is an essential skill to learn in soccer. It is crucial for defensive players to clear, to clear balls from the back, midfielders to win critical battles in the middle of field, and attackers to nod a ball past the opponent, opposing keeper to score a goal. That would be our project for EDGO5. The basic skills of soccer, our product performance, and again, I am Anisido Tito Bog Jr. And with me is Ramos Gomez Jr., Bachelor of Physical Education. The link of this blog will be shown at the description below. Thank you and God bless.